I lived for a while in a hut I'd built by the Freestone Creek. This was it in the early stages of construction. Unfortunately, it was destroyed by a flood in 1990. One night while living there, I had a vivid dream that evolved into a poem titled The Spirit of Gippsland. Billy Wye was a bush poet. Barclay and Bamford were murdered in 1917. Bogong Jack was a cattle duffer and a horse thief whose ghost is said to haunt the place where his hut once stood. The Kerr and I were a Gippsland Aboriginal tribe. One night, while asleep, by the sweet Freestone Creek, out back of Brigalong Way, there came a clear scene from my sleep cradle dream that lingers with me today. From the mists of my mind and the legends of time approached an ancient old man, and there in his hand he held all of Gippsland in a single grain of sand. He said unto me, Tell me what you see. Said I, Tis a grain of sand. I said he, but tis far more than thee could ever hope to understand. On what you can't see can poison the sea, and undo what time has done. And sweet nature's way may yet rue the day she had you for a son. But there is much more to see, he said unto me, for all is not what it seems. And he lowered his palm, for he knew there's no harm in a man abed with his dreams. And lo and behold, twas not silver or gold waiting there in his hand, but something more rare beckoned me there. It was the spirit of old Gippsland. In slumber I posed, yet transformed I arose, and left myself lying there. With the spirit I flew in memories renewed, like a phoenix through the air. Down through the years, through the laughter and tears, I glided quite at ease, till I reached the old days and forgotten ways, and I was as one with these. I served out some time in the long tunnel mine, and starved on the Jericho diggings. I sailed down the coast on a full-rigged old ghost and froze high up in the rigging. I was there at his side when Jim Barkley died and when Bamford went as well. But I cannot disclose what history knows and say what others won't tell. I drove the high plains in snow, heat and rain from Howard to Omeo with the lights of such men we may not see again, no matter where we may go. With the old pioneers I toiled through the years and felt the call of the earth. With the proud native tribes, I suffered and died, forgetting their memory's worth. With Bogong Jack, I rode hidden tracks, and with the duffers I raided, over the fainter spur with brave man and cur, whose deeds have long since faded. I felt Billy Y let his gentle soul fly to capture those days in verse. With the diggers, I dreamed of a rare golden scene, learning too late of its curse. Such visions I saw before dawn closed the door and opened my eyes to the sun that it was hard to recall I hadn't been there at all, nor met a single one. But the way that things are upon this shrinking star makes them seem much larger than life, for courage and passion seem to be out of fashion, and comfort has blunted the knife. <laughs>